I'm here with lead lifeguard and star of Bondi Rescue, Bruce Hoppo Hopkins. Now, many of you know Bruce is a professional lifeguard. He's also the chief of Waverley Council Lifeguards based in Sydney's eastern suburbs. What you might not know is that Bruce has just been appointed ambassador of ASX listed shark mitigation systems. Bruce, when did you first learn about shark mitigation systems? Oh, look, shark mitigation si systems came along probably about four or five years ago and I fir first heard about it. And uh, we did a bit of a, a demo down at uh, Bronte Beach and it was something I thought was really gonna take off. The technology was very, very good. and. It was something that I really wanted to get down at Bondi and, and trial it. And what really attracted you to the technology? What really stood out? Oh, what really stood out was the uh, part that they could determine anything that was coming through the Clever Boy. It wasn't just a, a, ta to be a tag shark. It was something that really uh, took my sort of attention. That uh, The way they swam, it would pick it up and then that technology would come across to your uh, to your iPhone and you'd be able to determine what it was. Okay, and how did the partnership arise between you and the company? Oh, the partnership was, it goes way back five years. We started uh, talking about the, the Clever Boy and I thought, well, it's good technology and then kept in contact and they kept coming over until we could finally get a, uh, something in here at Bondi and do a trial. We wanted to, Bondi to be the first trial anywhere in the world and we got that up and going and, and put it out there and it was very successful. Obviously we are here in Bondi and as you mentioned, there was a trial. Can you really talk about what the highlights were of that trial? What did you take away from that and, and why was that a game changer for you? Well, the trial was very successful. We could tell how many sharks were coming in the bay and we got notified by our iPhones. We had an iPad in the tower as well and it showed up straight away and we knew when to launch the jet ski or when not to launch the jet ski. And, you know, the other time is when to put the shark alarm on and remove the beach because we've got 30, 40,000 people here and it's something you don't want to do every five minutes when someone thinks they've seen a shark. Absolutely. And look, you've explained how it's made a difference to Bondi. What's the potential for this technology globally? Well, this technology could go global. I know there are, for sporting events, it could be all beaches all around the world that have shark problems. And it also can also tell you the difference between uh, pollution in the water and give you water temps and give you swell heights. So it's a lot of uh, different things it can actually do. And finally, Bruce, what will your main responsibilities be as an ambassador for shark mitigation systems? Being an ambassador, it's something that uh, I can take all around the world. With Bondi Rescue now in, in so many countries and they know what we do here, it's something I can uh, go over with uh, a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge to do with sharks and, and really help out with the technology to move forward. Great, well thank you very much for the insights. Okay, thank you.